good morning friends i hope you guys are doing well i get asked so often what can you buy in Caldish or in the Silver Coast area? So I wanted to kind of create a series for you guys showing you around different type of properties in different budgets. So this video, I'm going to show you this house in Caldish. It's about, I would say about 15 minutes inland to Caldish. So roughly 30 minutes to the beach, kind of midway point from Caldish and Rio Mayor. So it's great if you're looking for something with great mountain views and want to be a little bit further away from the city, this might have, this house might be the best option for you. So to give you some ideas on this house, it's listed for 259,000 euros and it's a T6 with a thousand meter square of land, enough space for a pool. So it's a really massive house. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let me know in the comments if you think this house is for you. All right, ciao. detailing along this window. So we're going to go through the entranceway. The first door to your left is a bedroom, which is ample size. You can tell there are two beds here. A pretty big wardrobe here too. And a dresser. This is a big hallway. And then off to the right of the front entrance is another bedroom, which again is huge. That is probably hmm, maybe 140 um, size bed, which is pretty much like a double in the States. There's, you know, the end, the nightstands. And then still ample room. There's central heating here. You do have a window to look outside. And they do have that really big wardrobe. So let's leave those two rooms. This house is listed for 259. It's a T6, so six bedrooms. And here is another room. which is still a very generous size. Another central heating in there and a pretty large wardrobe area. Now, turning to the left is a full bathroom. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how large this shower is? It could probably fit four people in there. It's massive. Again, this is the hallway entrance area. Now walking to the kitchen, it's a very decent sized kitchen. And there's a living area with, I believe, a pellet burner over here. So let's explore this kitchen some more. You have a big island. Well, not really an island, but big counter space here. Some more here. We'll say it's a gas stove. A double sink. They have enough space over here for a refrigerator and I believe a freezer, a separate freezer. Now off to the side of the kitchen on the left hand side, we actually have another bathroom. So another full size bathroom, which is very big as well. All right, so let's head upstairs. 
Let's talk about a game room slash family room, whatever you want to call this area. And this looks to be like a full size pool table too. So this just kind of gives you an idea of how big this room is. There's an area right off the game room with ample storage in case you need more storage in this house. My kids would love this foosball table too. All right, so next to the foosball table is another bathroom. It's a pretty generous sized bathroom again. The right of the bathroom is another bedroom. with a central heating here. Here's the other side of the bedroom. So it is huge in here. It's, it'd be even bigger than my kids' bedrooms and everything. Now, here is another bedroom in the back of the upstairs area, which again is massive. This is probably a double-sized bed. You have enough for another chair over there, end tables, and a huge wardrobe. And in case you needed another bedroom, here's another one to the left of the game room area, which again is massive. I think this bed is maybe a slightly bigger than the other bed in the last room, but you can tell that it's at least a double sized bed, pretty decent size nightstands, and still room to maneuver around. What's nice about this house, especially the upstairs area, is that you have a separate entrance and exit. So in case you wanted to separate this and have friends and family stay here while you guys live downstairs, you can. Then you have this really lovely sitting area, sunroom, could be a garden room. I'll give you another view of this upstairs area. It's so well lit. Again, large rooms, ample space. And of course, you don't need to have all the bedrooms be a bedroom. You can have it into an office or a playroom or whatever you'd like. All right, so let's head downstairs and see the outside. So this house, it has, I believe a thousand meters square or a thousand square meters um, of land. So it has a really big area in the back with amazing views. And on top of that, it has another annex because, you know, obviously having this many bedrooms is not enough for the average person. There's a separate annex that you can rent out or whatever you'd like. And as I walked outside of the kitchen area, you walk onto this large terrace area with amazing views. And on the right hand side, you have this outdoor terrace or outdoor barbecue area where you can have a nice meal outside and enjoy beautiful weather like today. So let's venture up to the top of this terrace area, which I don't know about you, but I can envision myself getting some sunbeds and relaxing over here. Oh my gosh, this house has so much space. It's amazing. So over there is the driveway area where you can drive down here. And then over here is the garage, which has enough space for two cars, but there is parking up front too, in case you wanted to park up front. Now to the right, you have an annex that I was speaking about or extra storage. So this can be converted into an annex if you'd like, or if you have a lot of stuff, 
coming from abroad, you have plenty of space to put it in here. Let's just check out this view once more from this backyard. Do you hear the birds chirping? All right, so you guys have been asking who I work with and my realtor that sold me my house. And this is Bruno from in Rio. Hi. He is showing us his house today and we'll take a look. So let's get some stats on this house. This yeah. house was built when? Uh, 1957. Uh, like an older build, but got renovated recently. As you can see in the video, uh, the foundation is in really good conditions, and uh, it's a lovely house, I think. And the size of the house is what? Uh, around 220 square meters uh, usable area, uh, where you can walk in. Uh, the plot size is about 1,000 square meters. In the garage. It's massive. I'm yeah. telling you, it's bigger than my house. <laughs> it's probably one of the biggest house I've seen so far. But we'll continue down to check out the rest of the land. So fun fact too, I'm short, Bruno is super tall, <laughs> and he actually had to stand on one of those steps down there. So he. I'm gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm telling you, like. I, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so he was standing on one of the steps while I had to stand on the top just so that he can fit in the frame, which is really funny. All right, so this is the back of the house. For me, if you know me, I love to garden. So I just see all this sun and I'm like, yes, a vegetable garden right here. And then they have an above ground pool here, but obviously you can get permission or you can request for permission to have it built in, which would be lovely because it gets awesome sun exposure. All right, so Bruno just brought up a good point and I didn't record it. If you had done, if you request permission, it would be lovely to have an infinity pool because it's on a different slope or a different level and you can have the water run down this way and have the pool on the top. That would be super pretty. And you still have some more land here. So if you have children and want to have a playground or something, this is so much land. And look, your next door neighbor is growing grapes. So more than likely, they're probably growing grapes for wine. And over here is a fig tree. Don't know what that is. I'm going to assume it's a fruit tree and another fruit tree because this why not? Figs as well. All right, Bruno told me that's a fig tree too. So you have plenty of figs. So if you love figs, this might be the house for you. All right, so just walking down some more and this house is on somewhat of an incline. So you just have to be careful when you're walking down, but there is more land back here for whatever you like. So if you wanna have a dog, if you wanna have more kids, if you wanna do whatever you like, you have plenty of space here. And just exploring some more of the land here. It looks like there is a lemon tree here. And I don't know what tree this may be, but it looks like they have planted some fruit trees along the back of the house. So if you want to have already existing fruit trees, it's here. All right, so let's go over some more stats on this house. So we already went over the size of the land and the size of the inside. It's a T6. Do you remember how many bathrooms? We went through a lot of bathrooms. I think there was probably like five or so bathrooms. I'll double check and I'll, I'll put it below. And let's see here, the yearly taxes. So if you're not familiar, Portugal has a yearly tax that you pay, so the property tax. You don't have it monthly, like in the States, usually it's built into your mortgage, but here you have a property tax of like 400, you said? 400 euros, which you pay you in, pay two, oh, two installments, times. yeah. You can do two installments or one, it's up to you. All right, so let's talk some more about this area and what you can walk to or what you can't walk to. So driving here, it was so scenic, I loved it. The actual town itself. Do you recall if there's like a coffee shop or the there grocery is. store? There is. Uh, I think I passed a couple of coffee shops. Yeah, it's like one of those villages like has the main road. Right. And some small branches of road that has the houses. This is uh, one of the main roads that connects to Caldas. Okay. And along the way there is several uh, uh, 
grocery stores and like local gro grocery stores. Right, yeah. right, right. So more mom and pop type shops um, in this area as far as, you know, restaurants, uh, grocery stores and cafes. So one thing that he did mention, and I forgot to mention, it is off the main road. Now, I don't hear too many cars drive by, but when it does, when they do drive by, you can hear it. But I don't think you can hear it from the inside, no. which is nice. It's double glazed uh, window, so. Oh yeah, so you won't hear it. I didn't hear it um, until I went outside. But other than that, it's, it's just the view. I mean, like, look at this view. And in this price range, it's hard to find something with this view as big as this is and uh, so secluded in one way with this much yeah. land too yeah this is uh, this is great so even for a vacation home or home basically yeah. uh, it works uh, wonders even for uh, to live here right you are uh, if you have a uh, heavy foot you can be in calzas in 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> or but, less yeah. <laughs> But yeah, normal drive, 15 to 20 minutes, it's right. uh, easily done. And uh, you're close to everything. You are close to the the busy roads of Caldas right. and far away from them as well. Yes. So Again, if you like to live more in a quieter area, this is perfect for you. Yeah. But you're still close to Caldas and you're close to... What's another major city? How far are you from Rio Mayor from here? Mm, I think we are about halfway, like okay. 15 minutes each side. Okay, like yeah. so I would think that's probably the next big city? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're in between two big cities, so this might be perfect. And even, if you want. even to the beaches, it's like... No more than half an hour. Yeah. Yeah, so 30 minutes. And again, to find something for $259,000 with six bedrooms. And I'm telling you, in my last video, I told you it was so hard to find a house with more yeah. than four bedrooms. So this might be a perfect option for you. And there isn't that much renovations that you need to do unless you want something aesthetically different. Um, but I didn't feel any humidity or mold issues on the inside. So it's kind of nice. And again, you have so much storage for all the stuff that you're gonna buy or bring with you. It's crazy how much space is in this house. But I'm telling you, this view is what sells this house. And nothing can be built there, which is awesome. All right, so just a recap. This house is a T6, a four bathroom, we just confirmed. Um, Pre-installation of AC, there is central heating, a thousand square meters of land. The house itself is 236, I think he said which I'll put the conversion below with square feet. Um, yeah, but just this hallway, I mean like, this massive hallway is bigger than some people's apartments in Lisbon. It's just crazy to me. I don't know what you're gonna do with this hallway, but you could tell that they have really big furniture. So once you remove all this stuff, you can do whatever your heart desires. It's probably big enough to even put like a baby piano here. <laughs> it's just crazy how big it is. And it's still well built. I mean, this house, again, was built in the 50s or 60s, he said. And even though it was newly renovated in probably early 2000s, you can tell that it's been really done well. I'll show you briefly the main road over here and some more views, your neighbors. And it looks like more modern homes are being built around here too.